Hi everybody, welcome, Andrew Ames with Golf Academy here, welcome to the video as always, thanks for watching, always a pleasure to have you tuned in, product review again, um, I tell you what, I don't think there's ever been a better time to buy a new driver at the moment, there are so many good drivers out there on the market and I've got another one in my hands today, this is the Bing G30 LS Tech. So this is part of the G30 family, which came out sort of last August, really, and we've got the turbulators on top, and we've got the matte black finish. LS Tech stands for Low Spin Technology. So I'm going to read you some blurb. The G30 LS Tech driver, Low Spin Technology, has a CG, Centre of Gravity, that is back and extremely low with a high launch angle to spin ratio. With me so far? The CG is slightly forward of the standard G30 driver and it best fits players who desire very low spin without sacrificing off-center performance. So there we go, it's a low spinning version of the G30. Now, the G30 driver in its standard form, folks, is, is a superb club. You know, it's, it's very easy to hit, it's long, it's stable, it's forgiving. We've also got the SF Tech, which is the straight flight technology, which I've done reviews on. Um, where the weight's a little bit more in the heel and that's designed to sort of keep the club face a little bit squarer so if you're losing the ball a bit off to the right you know your ball starts sort of straight and tails off to the right then maybe SF Tech's for you if you're hitting the driver a bit with too much spin ball stalling then maybe the LS Tech's the one for you I've got this fitted with the Tour 65 shaft. We'll give you some spec on that. It's cosmetically very different. It's sort of this silver mirrored finish. Um, the standard shaft is the 419, which is the blue one. And I've got this in the Stiff Flex. It's 61 grams in weight and it's torque. For those of you not too sure what torque is, torque's kind of like the sideways movement. If you grab hold of the club head in one hand, and the grip in the other and twist in opposite directions, you'll feel the torque in the shaft. And generally speaking, the stiffer the flex, the less torque a shaft has. And this is a bit of a, an approximation, but the faster the club speed becomes, generally the less torque that you want in the shaft because you're gonna get you know, less movement, so you're gonna be able to deliver the club back to the ball nice and stable and square. So, G30 LS Tech. Now, I was having a little play around with it earlier. I'm going to hit a couple of live shots of it, but uh, it's always easier to record one and then show you the numbers. This was the one I hit earlier in testing. Here it comes. Saved it on the GC2. We've got the Chase Ball Cam on today, which is quite funky. Follows it through the air and then watches it land. And as you can see, there's, there's not a tremendous amount of run out built into this at the moment. So the numbers I got on that we just go back in and have a little look. Quite interesting, 103 miles an hour of club head speed, giving me about 150 ball speed. Carry was 255 running out to 280, that's only giving me 25 yards of run out, which, which is okay. Um, it was 13 yards left of centre, fairway hit. Um, club face was slightly closed, swing path was slightly right to target, and I got a 25 spin, 2550 to be honest and a 9.7 launch, so nearly 10 degrees of launch angle. Now, in testing prior to that, well, I, hit, I hit quite a few more shots of it. Uh, I did get one at 2.2 and I did get one at 2,000, and the carry distance went up to about 260, 262, which, you know, for me, that's as far as I could hit any driver. So it's a good club, it, it really is. Um, just gonna hit a live one. This is where we, we hope we put a decent swing on it. So, behind the ball, I mean, it's great. I love, oh, just tell you about the length of the tour shaft. 45 and a quarter inches long, half an inch shorter than the standard stock shaft. For me, a better length anyway. Most tour pros are using sort of 45, 45 and a quarter inch shafts. So let's give it a little hit for real. Not good, cut that one. Pretty horrible, probably going to pick up that bunker, I think. Oh no, just short of it. So that's probably a good one to talk about. That, that was a pretty horrible hit. I, I hit it, hit it out of the heel a bit. Okay, didn't quite deliver the club to the ball square. So it was a bit of a necky one. 
but it's held up all right. I mean, it's all well and good sort of doing reviews on perfect goal swings. What happens, <laughs> mine's not perfect by the way, but perfect strikes. What happens when we neck one a little bit? Well, I still squeeze 240 carry out of that, and it's still pretty much gone where I wanted it to go, so it's not a bad miss. I take that all day long. And I think, you know, when you're choosing a driver, you've, you've kind of got to look at where the slight miss hits go as well. You know, it's all well and good basing it on your, your sort of Sunday best. So, let's see if we can get one more away. Slightly better strike, that one. Just missed the fairway down in the first cut. It's all right, I'll take that. And again, it's not run very far, but it's pitched out there at 254. Spin rates are interesting. Um, getting 2.5, poor strike, went up 3.2 and then down to 2.4 again, so they're pretty low spin rates for me and there'll be guys out there who can get these things spinning down at 16, 1800 with, with higher launches, higher club speed than me and they're really going to maximise the distance on these. So LS Tech, it's there, it's a very specific setup driver aimed at a specific sort of golfer. You've got to go and get fitted. You know, you want to go and get the right driver head in here, get the right shaft, get the right leg, do all that. Go and see a ping fitter. Get on a launch monitor, a GC2, a Trackman, a flight scope. You've got to see the numbers, folks. Unless you can see the numbers, you're not going to know. But it, it fits beautifully into the ping G30 range. It, it's a very, very good range of drivers, this. So, thanks for watching. Uh, any of you tried it, any of you hit it, it'd be good to see what you think about this shaft and this setup. Thanks for watching, I'll be back soon.